Hey guys, Mitch here. Today I'll be showing you how you can downgrade from iOS 5.1 to iOS 5.0.1. And if you are already on iOS 5.0.1, restore your firmware, but do not update to Apple's new firmware of 5.1. So first off, we have to make sure that Tiny Umbrella did save our SHSHs, as this video tutorial does require that you do have your SHSHs SH saved for your device. Now, all we'll be needing is the iOS 5.0.1, and it looks like Cydia did save it. So if I scroll down here, you will be able to see the iPhone 4 with 5.0.1 saved. Then if we go back to our computer, you will be able to see that we do have the saved file right there on our desktop which we'll be needing as we open up our Red Snow here. You can go ahead and open up Red Snow, make sure that your device is plugged in and go under Extras, SHSH Blobs and then Stitch. Here you want to go ahead and browse for the firmware. This is the original firmware of iOS 5.0.1. Go ahead and click on it and then go to Local and make sure that you go ahead and select your 5.0.1 SHSHs. Now this will be stitching up the blobs and creating a new custom firmware like so. Just go ahead and select OK then. Then go back. Well first off, make sure that we do have it saved. As you can see here, this is our new custom IPSW that we'll be needing for iTunes. Then what you want to go ahead and go back and go to Pwned DFU mode. To enter DFU mode, go ahead and make sure that your device is turned off, and then go ahead and select Next, and put your device into DFU mode by holding the top for three seconds, the top and the home for a total of 10, and after that 10 seconds has been up, go ahead and release the home button, excuse me, the power button, and make sure that the home button is in for an additional 15 to 20 seconds then Red Snow will recognize your device here and it will be putting it into a pwned DFU mode which then you'll be able to restore using your custom firmware in iTunes. You can see that iTunes has detected our iPhone in recovery mode, just go ahead and select OK. Then make sure you hold down Option key and select Restore. If you're on a Windows, go ahead and select Shift. Then browse for your custom firmware that we did just create in Red Snow. It should have a bunch of numbers at the very beginning, followed by the IPSW, and the software will be extracted. And you can see here on our device that it is being recognized through iTunes, and the process should take about 5 to 10 minutes. Once it is completed, you can see that we do have the iPhone welcome screen here, and you can go through your location services, setting up your iPhone as a new one or from a backup, your wireless password, and whatnot. And once it has restored, since I am going from a backup, you can see here that I, as I open up the settings here, that my device is on 5.0.1 now. So this way is possible to downgrade from 5.1 to iOS 5.0.1 or do a restore of iOS 5.0.1 without updating to 5.1. So if you guys do like these videos, don't forget to give a like up, leave any comments below, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks, guys.